Liverpool versus everybody. Um, it's been a good end of the month here uh, so far with just Klopp getting um, his man, getting our man, uh, Virgil van Dijk, we all know it. Um, there's some news coming now, and I'm not gonna lie, I, up until the last moment, and some of you can attest to that through the comments we, we share with each other about this, but um, even when I saw the photo of, of, of Van Dyke holding the jersey in front of the tree, uh, as cynical as it might be, I, I thought it was a, a photoshopped image. I mean, I really did. I just, us missing out on him in the summertime really, really, really um, had me thinking, I'm gonna admit it, that we just, we missed our chance on getting our guy. I really thought that, you know, especially once other teams started, started to show interest. I know we spoke about Man City, but surely there were other teams and I just thought we missed our guy. And, we, and to get him, it's just, it really, really just shows the pull that Klopp has. Um, Keita, Van Dyke, um, wrapped up. You know, unfortunately we can't get Keita until uh, the summer, um, which you can kind of understand from, a, from an RB, RB Leipzig point of view. Um, they they want to get back in the Champions League and having a play like that is really going to help them. You saw what happened with, um, you know, Leicester and, and, and Conte. And once he left, to me, they, they were that less of a team, in my opinion. To me, he was their best player, uh, hands down. Uh, better than uh, Mares, better than Vardy, better than any other guys on their team. I think he was the glue and the key for that team. Um, the, the Kind of the heart and soul of that team, if you will. So um, then you see what happened when he went to Chelsea, that they won the league. So a player like that is really, really important in the middle of the park. To have a really, really top-class midfielder is, I think, a position that people really underestimate as far as being um, a key component to a football team doing well and flourishing um, going forward and playing and, and defensively. So um, that's a hallmark of, of any team, in my opinion, to have a really, really good um, midfielder and, and even better if he's world class. In Conte's um, situation, I think even in Keita, um, to really watch him and, and see what he can bring to Liverpool. So, um, but all that to say, um, there's been some news about Manuel um, Akanji, who was a young Switzerland international player for FC Basel. Um, it still amazes me that people don't know who he is. All on Twitter, people are asking, "Who is this guy?" And that, that is just, you know, if he's if he if he's English, or he's got a, a Spanish name or Brazilian, you're all about it. But as soon as there's a, I mean, how do you not know the players that your club that you so-called support are after? I just don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, there's news about that um, being a situation that we're close in now. For me, it wouldn't make sense for Basil to give him up now, and I don't even know if it would make that much sense for us to get him now. We got Van Dyke in. I, I think Akanji is a guy that we're, we we would want to have um, in the summer. I can't remember if, if Switzerland is in the World Cup, um, but if he is, fine. But I, I, it's, it's, a, it's a guy that I feel like we need to try to bet in um, to somewhat of a preseason and getting him to start the season uh, next, next year. Um, and anyway, he'd be cup tied. He wouldn't be able to play in the Champions League with us. Um, he'd be play. He'd be able to play in the league, which would be good. But you know, I just think we should wait. And I can't. I, again, I can't see FC Basel giving him up, being as though they are um, still in the Champions League. Um, and I can't remember who they play. Is it City? Maybe I think it's City. Um, but yeah, another big, big player. Um, literally, <laughs> and, and um, just a really, really young talent. Um, and that's the thing that you're starting to see. This team, we're, we're, we're. we're Really, really getting some good players, um, and and they're all relatively young, you know. So we're gonna keep this team for a while, um, at least until the end of Klopp's, whenever he decides to to walk away um, from managing, in my opinion, because I think Liverpool will, will be his last stop. But who knows? Um, but yeah, that'd be amazing. I don't want to get too ahead of myself um, because you know, getting Van Dyke the way we did could allow you to just kind of be gullible and believe anything after that. So. Um, but he's a guy that I've been, I've been ever since we, we were um, interested in him, I've been watching some Champions League games back, especially the Basel versus um, uh, Man United game. Um, really good, young kid again, just, um, you know, huge, huge presence, man. Really good in the air, really good defending ball. Let's see, what's up, bro? Have a holiday. Bro. You too. Um, so yeah, uh, exciting potential news. So, you know, stay tuned. Hopefully there'll be some news coming out sooner or later. Um, but I think if we can wrap him up, on a on a deal now knowing we'll get him in the summer it would be really 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 good news um and again good business from fsg the ones who will give us one out so uh yeah i'll, I'll be back if, if there's anything official and i'm sure you guys will be checking it anyway you don't really need me but if there is something substantial something official that comes out i will be back to uh to speak on it so till then